Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Rebuilding Rome here in EU4 as Byzantium. Last episode, we went to war with Circassia and Shuravan. We just full annexed both of them for our vassal, Georgia. So he's looking nice. Uh, that did push his liberty desire up to 44%. So we might have to leave a diplomat there to get relations up with him. But he likes us enough. And he's probably okay. Still have 100 Liberty Desire with our silly vassal, Syria, because he's a little upset that we forced to convert him to Orthodoxy, but I think, you know, it's it's fine. In the long run, he'll he'll be fine. I'm not too worried about it. Look at Ragusa over here. He just full next Bosnia. He just peaced out. And um, we're looking at getting ready for a war with Aragon. Because Aragon right now is very, very weak. France has just come in here and stomped his face. And I think if we're going to do it, we should probably do it like right now. If I wait, we could easily miss this opportunity. And I don't want to miss this opportunity. So I'm going to turn my forts on because Aragon's allies are Ragusa. Ragusa will probably join the war against us. I'm going to turn my forts on over here. I don't think I need my capital fort. Uh, and we need to get our troops home from the Caucasus. So let's get our troops home with our 13 transports. Um, I'm going to unmothball my navy. Get my trade ships to go dock up as well. And we're just going to go to war. I mean, I don't I don't see any reason in waiting. If we wait... Oh, wow, Genoa went Protestant. If we wait, France could piece Aragon out. Aragon could start getting new alliances and shit like that. And uh, I don't want to deal with them when they have, you know, lots of good allies. Theodora wants access. Sure, whatever. I want to deal with, I want to deal with them right now when they're weak. Right? Relations go. Uh, Austria, come on back. Yeah, just full annexing all of the Caucasus was really good for us there. Like, really good. That was so easy, too. Barely had to lift a finger. All right, come on over. And let's get walking. How far are we going to go? I guess to Albania? Maybe it's faster to go to Corfu. No, they're both good. Albania's probably fine. Yeah, supply limit 24 is fine. And that's where we're going to launch from to get into Italy. So we have 7 trade ships and 30 galleys. That's a pretty decent fleet. It's not great, but for the Mediterranean, that's Pretty ideal. Uh, let's get some more claims over here. We only have two so far. I don't think I can claim this far up. But we, claim, we can claim Lucania. And Casenza. And Calabar, Calabria. Let's go for Calabria. Calabria, whatever. Just claim all this shit. Try to take most of the boot there. What's the total cost of Naples? Total cost is 117, so we can take most of it. Uh, probably just take most of it. So there's the Ottomans beating, or there's the Mamluks beating up the Ottomans. That's something that uh, I was waiting for for a long time because I wanted to go eat Cyprus while the Mamluks were busy so that the Mamluks wouldn't join the war against us. Holy shit, is that hail? Yeah, it's hailing. Damn. It doesn't smash my car window or something. And now it's stopped. That was quick. Sunni Zealots, where's this? Sinop. Come on back. I guess I'll let them spawn. They might as well let them spawn. They're at 90%. Sunni Zealots. Did I not increase autonomy there? I did. Oh, I'm converting it, of course. Oh, shit. They just pieced out. They just pieced out. Okay, well, France just took a whole fuckload of land over there. And I need to get to war before Aragon gets new alliances, right? That's the important thing. No new alliances for Aragon. Aragon has rivaled us. That's fine. Just don't get new alliances and I won't hate you. All 
All right, ships, come on over. How's our combat navy doing? 75%. Okay, just keep healing up. Actually, why don't you heal up over here? Come on, spawn, you little bastards. They have a 5% chance to spawn every month, and they're just refusing to spawn. Oh, that's so frustrating. Ottoman Separatists. You know what? I bet they're not going to spawn. I bet it's going to sit there at 90, we're going to finish converting, and then the revolt risk will just go away. It's so goofy. That's probably what's going to happen, though. They still... No, they didn't spawn. Well, I can't just sit around. He's going to get alliances if I just sit around. He just allied Portugal. Fuck! Just allied Portugal. Alright, let me see Portugal's navy. No galleys, but four heavies. Oof. Oh, man. The timing. Like, I don't even know if I should even do it now. If I don't do it now, when's going to be another opportunity? I can't even think. Like, when is there going to be another opportunity? I don't know. But this might not be the right choice here. Why is Syria upset? Because we forced converted them to Orthodox. And they were Sunni. Aragon's prestige is negative 13, but prestige no longer causes them to lose a lot. No, no. Prestige no longer causes you to lose unions. It causes increased liberty desire instead. Oh, wow. Big battle up there. And must be lost. Wait for them to annex Naples, and then you can vassal feed Naples from one province. Eh, it's true. That just feels like it's going to take too long, you know? That really feels like it's going to take too long. God, why are these rebels not spawning? You little bastard rebels. You know what? When this hits 100% missionary, then the revolt risk will be zero. So I guess I'll just wait for the missionaries to finish. What is this? Persia declared war on the Timurids. Okay. Uh, how's my war exhaustion? It's fine. Sure, put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. I'm not going to help, but put me in. Yeah, I'm really not going to help him. Okay, Customoni was done. That means there's no more Ottoman separatists. Good. And then 90%. Yeah, pretty sure we're not going to get rebels here. This will finish maybe in two months. Got discovered fabricating on Naples. That sucks. Oh, they did spawn. Wow, at 95% they spawn. All right, well, cool. Fine, it's done. I mean, I got manpower to cover it, so it's all good. And I'm glad I stuck around. All right, did you get any new allies? No. All right. Okay, how's our force limit? 40, huh? We can get five more soldiers. Do I want five more soldiers? What do I have? 10 and 3. 13, 3, and 6. I guess I could do with a few more. I don't know if I should get them now, though. My economy's not that good. Hungary, are you at war? No. He wants my vassal's land? You jerk. Yeah, wants your provinces. Serbia, Bosnia, and Vidin. He wants my land. These three provinces. Gross. Yeah, at least Poland doesn't want my land. I kind of feel like we're going to be coming to uh, a head against Hungary here soon. 
just because, you know, Poland's my good bud and Hungary's not. Look at all this shit Hungary wants. You like that, how Poland doesn't want any of Hungary's lands, but Hungary wants Polish lands. He's a jerk. All right, I'm going to set all this up. I want it. I'm going to be greedy here. Say I want this. I think I'm going to put these in too. Now let's see how badly that fucks things up with Hungary. And it will cause some turmoil here. Hopefully not enough to break the alliance. No causes, belly. Oh, do I have to declare on Naples instead? Oh, I have to declare on Naples instead. Interesting. I thought you had to declare on the Union leader. Apparently not. Okay. So the Ottomans may join this because the Ottomans are guaranteeing Ragusa, but the Ottomans are busy losing a war to the Mamluks right now, so maybe they won't join. I don't know. Okay, Sinop has converted. Everything is now the right faith. What missions are out there? Conquer Visoki. Where the fuck is Visoki? Visoki. Oh, there. Uh, okay. Improve relations with Valakia, improve our prestige. I guess I'll go for the improved prestige one, because mm, we could get to 50 prestige. It's possible. All right. I think... I think I'm going to go to war here. Uh, let's wait until we have, like, a Neapolitan navy nearby. Go see. Let's see if we can find one. Just go squish it outright. Oh, he's docked up. Hmm. All right, let's fucking do it. I'll declare for Salento because it's easier to get. Ah, oh, he teched up. Yeah, I really wanted to do this like two or three years ago, but now he's teched up. Makes me very sad. Okay, we've made landfall. Almost. Alright, so he's gonna get me on patrol there. Just back and forth. Don't let anyone cross that straight. Come on, get off the damn boats. Wow, three months at sea. That sucks. That's a lot of attrition for just sitting in a boat. There we go. He undocked. And here comes Aragon. Six heavies. Cool. Let's see if we can't catch that Aragonese navy. I don't want him to engage my transports. Hey, we sunk some of the uh, Neapolitan galleys, which is really important. Uh, we can probably take out that guy. I might want to hire... I think I'm going to hire an admiral. Let's go dock up. Yeah, we took out some Neapolitan galleys, which means the enemy now has less of a fleet. I'm really upset that he allied Portugal, but 
What can I do? What can I do? Ugh. No shock? Okay. Still better than nothing. Hmm. I should sink that. There he is. There's 11 troops on that boat. Okay. Uh, can I wait for the repairs? Uh, I think I should. Just a few days. Okay. Go, 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 go. Now I need to engage him before he unloads those boats, those troops. I think he's going to Georgia because he feels Georgia is an easy target. And he's not wrong. Yeah, he's going to Georgia. He's going to get off on 26. Can I get there? It's one month and two days. Can I get there in one month and two days? That's the question. <clears throat> Ionian Sea. Portugal's bringing nine ships over with only one heavy to protect them. Yeah, that's stupid. But hey, the AI is never praised at being smirt. I think I'm going to get there in time. Yep. And then Portugal's going to be fucked because I'll just turn around and engage him. Yeah, I'm going to make it in time. No problem. Yep. With like three days to spare. So the Ottomans did not join. I declared on Naples and I called in Aragon's ally Ragusa as a co-belligerent. Right? Uh, no? I thought I co-belligerented him. Didn't I check the box? I was certain I had checked the Koblizrin box. Well, now I feel dumb. Got him. Six heavies, that's gonna hurt. We've already lost a galley. We've lost four galleys. But we sunk two heavies. And I tell you what, man, four galleys, that's 40 ducats. Two heavies cost 100 duck. I stole a heavy! We stole a heavy, everybody. That was a nice victory for us. Now, where did that Portuguese fleet go? He's right there. Interesting. He's actually sailing home. I wonder why. We stole a heavy. I did check the box? Well, then why are they not a co-belligerent? You saying it bugged out? All right, so dock up and heal. Um, I think I'll take the heavy with me. Why not? It's not that expensive. Grasslands? Okay. So we'll just go attack this Neapolitan army. We should be able to take it out, and he'll probably retreat to uh, Sicily, and then I can just pin him down there, and he'll be stuck there for the rest of the war. I've got ticking war score, which is great. It's only been the two naval battles so far. All right, let's go kick this army's ass. A 2-2 general versus my 1-3. That will be fine. We'll be fine. Now, I could call some allies into this war. I guess it's just Hungary. Uh, but I'm not sure if I should bother. I mean, he wants all this Ragusa and clay, and he'll be upset if I don't give it to him. But not calling him to the war? Is there any point to not call him into the war? Ah, call him in. Let him do some work. You can go beat up Ragusa for me. Okay, Aragon dropped off troops in Sicily. That's not ideal, but it's okay. Let's go. And let's kick this army's butt. Ah. 
Oh, here comes Portugal. Can I engage them before they get off the boat? They're getting off the boat. Oh, no, they're going to get off in four days. Shit. That would be so good if I could get there before they get off the boat. It's just not going to happen. Okay. He's not even reinforcing the battle. Wow. Can I catch you? Cape Bon, April 5th? No. Crap. What if I chase? I wonder if I can chase and catch this guy. I just want to sink the fleet so they can't bring more units, you know? Fourteenth? Fifteenth. I think he's just a little bit faster than me, even though I have a maneuver admiral and he has no admiral at all. He's somehow faster than me. 23rd, 28th. Yeah, I'm just going to turn around. It's too bad. Dock up and heal in Salerno. Alright, so the enemy army is trapping... They're trapping most of their army on this island, which is hilarious. You know, that probably means I can go to Iberia, and I can probably just siege up all of this shit. And he won't have much there. I think he's got most of his army over here in Sicily, which is awesome. Alright, I'm going to set up a patrol. Like this. Just go in a circle. Just try to catch some of these navies. They've got 20,000 troops stuck on this island now. Iberian Wedding. Are you shitting me? Wait, did that just invalidate my war? It did. My war's over. <sighs> Are you kidding me? White Peace. What the actual fuck, game? White Peace. White Peace. Well, the war's over, folks. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. That is pretty dumb. <laughs> so I lose 10 favors with Hungary because I called him into my war. Those 10 favors are gone. Completely gone. I also don't get to take anything in the war, which I was clearly going to win. So stupid. I'm gonna ally France. Just fuck that shit. Well, like I said, they're not going to be able to keep the Union. It's just not going to happen. Does that give me a truce as well? Um, yeah, it gives me a truce as well. Five-year truce. Well, fuck. Okay. Um, option B, I guess, is just go eat Wallachia. I might as well. I can't touch Ragusa for five years. I can't touch Naples or Aragon because they're in a union. Just go for Spain? I can't. I have a truce. That gave me a truce for five years. I can't declare war. God, that's dumb. That's so dumb. All right, well, in the meantime, let's get relations up with our allies. Whatever. Whatever. Aragon's no longer a valid rival. No shit. Um. Oh, I'm at war. Right, I can't add rivals at war. Whatever. Turn off the forts. God, that's dumb. I don't want to fight the Mamluks because he's allied. He's allied to my ally. I would lose my alliance. Mm. 
No, I wouldn't lose my alliance because my ally... I'm joining my ally in a war. That's right. So I can declare on the Mamluks and Persia can't join. That would be ideal. Uh, how many troops do the Mamluks have? Is it just that 27 stack? Probably. He's got 32 total, but he has no manpower. Yeah, sure, why not? Hedges and Yemen? Hedges is pretty fucking big. Holy shit. How many troops do you have, Hedges? Hedges, don't hide from... There he is. 12,000 troops. So yeah, you know, 40,000 troops. We can probably take that. I wonder if we can call Poland into that. He's probably too far away. Yeah, we can do Crimea whenever we want. He has no allies. But I think the Mamluks are a better target. Just because, A, they're harder to do. And, B, their land is probably worth more to me. Especially Cyprus. That is some shit, though. That is some shit. You know what? Why don't we end on that happy note? And say, fuck you, Iberian wedding, which doesn't make any sense when Aragon is twice the size of Castile. But it happened anyway. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.